Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about performing installation provisioning for a single box Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise. The following applies to a single server Avaya Session Border Controller that has the element management system and SBC functionality co-resident on the same server. Tasks shown in this video are performed on a Dell R210-2 server. To perform initial provisioning of a single box configuration, first connect a laptop to the server using a null modem cable. A connection may be established to a server prior to booting or to a server that has already booted. Our server is powered after making our serial connection and launching our terminal emulator. We use PuTTY for our serial communications, specifying the correct serial port connection, setting the speed or baud to 19,200, data bits to 8, stop bits to 1, and parity to none. Please note that our use of this tool does not signify a recommendation from or endorsement by Avaya. We include the boot process for reference purposes. During boot, a point is reached where you will hit Control D to continue server startup. After continuing, you reach a point where you hit Enter to continue in configuration mode. The top level provisioning screen appears. We hit Enter to select the configuration option. Four options are displayed. Hit Enter to select Installation Type. Two options are provided. For a single box configuration, select the second option, which specifies that the EMS and SBC functionality will be provided by the same server. Hit Enter to accept the installation type. You are returned to the previous menu, however now you see the EMS plus UCSEC appliance configuration option. Use the arrow keys to select the appliance configuration option and hit enter. In the appliance configuration screen, enter an appliance name. Optionally, enter a domain suffix. Provide a list of DNS servers. Multiple entries must be separated by commas and without spaces. Specify an NTP server IP address. If not changed or if not available, time will be manually configured. Select OK. You are returned to the configuration menu. Now use the arrow keys to select the Management Interface Setup option and hit Enter. In the Management Interface Setup menu, specify the management device or interface. The default M1 option is recommended. Enter the management IP address. The network mask and the gateway IP address. Then select OK. You are again returned to the configuration menu. If needed, the custom routes option may be accessed and provisioned. 
as well as the self-signed certificates option. If unused, SBC operation is unaffected. Use the tab key to select back, then hit enter. You are taken to the top level menu. The UCSEC operations option provides access to a factory reset option. After completing the initial provisioning configuration, tab to select done and hit enter. A script is activated that provisions the SBC with the information provided in the previous steps. If an NTP server connection cannot be established, you can reattempt a connection, change the server IP address, or manually configure the date and time. We select 3 to set the time manually. After the NTP server is automatically set back to the local IP address, you must hit enter to manually configure the date and time. Use tab to navigate between fields and the arrow keys to change field values. Select OK after setting the date. Select OK again after setting the time. After setting the time and generating a self-signed certificate, you must configure the root password. Do note the password requirements. Next, configure the IPCS user password. The same password requirements apply. After the passwords are successfully configured, the provisioning continues. When the login prompt appears, provisioning is complete. For additional information, reference the Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise Installation Guide. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.